you can own Venus flytraps without any issues. But poaching or removing Venus flytraps from the wild is actually punishable by law. Venus flytraps are a vulnerable species. They are extremely rare and they are actually only growing the wild in a very small area in the United States, in the East Coast within the states of North Carolina and South Carolina. And because of urbanization, but also because of extreme and excessive poaching, is that the population of Venus flytraps continues to decrease. And you are actually able to help um, stop this. First of all, making sure to be able to buy Venus flytraps from a reputable source. Uh, there is a number of nurseries and, and online nurseries that you can find that cultivate these Venus flytraps, uh, and they pose no risk to the um, to the wild population. So you can check out some links below uh, into some reputable sources. But most importantly, when you do buy a Venus flytrap, just keep an eye for some signs that the Venus flytrap might be poached. It is common to see in flea markets, sometimes uh, in garage sales, or even uh, sometimes from people putting announcements uh, online that they are selling Venus flytraps, that there is poachers selling these plants um, at, a, at a scale. And how can you identify Venus flytraps that have been poached? Well, there's actually some key tips. Uh, of course, they are no guarantee, but you can do your best to at least look for these signs. First of all, look at the soil of the plant. The soil should be very uniform. If you notice that the soil is full of random dirt, maybe rocks or twigs, um, that is a bad indication. Also, if there is weeds around or just random other plants that are not Venus flytrap, then um, that is a concern. And besides that, um, nurseries that grow their Venus flytraps in-house, they have them to be very uniform, so they are all at a very similar growth stage. If you do notice that these Venus flytraps that are being sold, some of them are very tiny, some of them are very big, and they come at completely different stages, then that is also something to, to look for as a potential sign that those Venus flytraps were poached. Besides that, never pick up a Venus flytrap from, from the wild, and it might not come as obvious, but also avoid sharing the location where you saw the Venus flytrap. You can definitely take a photo, uh, there is no harm to that, but if you do post that into the masses and share the specific location, then you don't know if that information may, act up, may actually end up in the wrong hands into someone that might want to poach this plant. You can also like this video to support the channel and uh, help spread this information. And if you are interested in growing Venus flytraps, I have a complete care guide to get you started.